Couple of news and notes. Chris Jericho recently had Lee Moriarty on his Talk is Jericho podcast, where Moriarty talked about doing a paper back in high school on whether pro wrestling should qualify as a sport, comparing it to gymnastics. He said gymnastics is a routine, just like pro wrestling is, and that's a sport. We're competing together as a team in the ring against other matches or whatever show might be running against us. It's a sport. We are athletes. Jericho then chimed in and said that one of his all-time goals is to literally go in front of the IOC, which is the International Olympic Committee, and pitch pro wrestling as an Olympic sport. He said, now, you might go, how can you do that? He says, hold on, stop right there. Gymnastics, pairs gymnastics, figure skating, pairs figure skating. What is that? It's two people working together to put on the best performance possible. Then the judges give you a score, and if you're a doubles figure skater, which is one of the top-rated sports in the Winter Olympics, America finished first, Russia second, Japan is third. There is no way we could not do the same thing with pro wrestling. An AEW wrestler comparing what they do to gymnastics is going to make some people's heads explode. I can picture it now, though. You know, Dave Meltzer sitting off to the side holding up seven stars for the Japanese team. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Nobody is denying that pro wrestlers are athletes. They absolutely are. They're some of the best athletes in the world. But it's not a real competition. The outcomes are predetermined. And even if you want to focus solely on what they're saying about it being a competition among the wrestlers to see who can have the better performance, now you're getting into the idea, well, what makes a good pro wrestling match? They're focusing on the physical aspect of what they do. And I guess just having a bunch of people cooperating to do a gymnastics routine and not, not even bothering with a finish. I guess you don't need finishes for these matches. <laughs> That's not pro wrestling. Pro wrestling is not gymnastics. It's not just flips and dives and holds. The physical aspect is only one part of it. Pro wrestling is about story. It's about characters. It's about promos. How do you even begin to judge all of that as a real sport? One of the most important aspects of pro wrestling is crowd reaction and crowd engagement and the ability to sell tickets and fill seats. How does that get factored into things? Like in what he's proposing here, it doesn't. It doesn't even factor in. Pro wrestling combines elements of things that already have their own Olympic sports. You want flips and dives. Guess what? They already have the uh, gymnastics competition. You want mat-based holds. Guess what? They already have wrestling in the Olympics. But you can't put it in a, in a neat little box and call it any one of those things. So the whole concept to me is ludicrous. And I know they've had some ridiculous events at the Olympics over the years. They, they used to have pigeon shooting once upon a time. Just because you can point to other dumb Olympic sports does not mean that pro wrestling should be added to that list. I'll bet the drug testing would probably be fun, though. Scotty Tuhani was trending on Twitter this week for what was supposedly a controversial tweet. I'm still looking for, for this controversial tweet. I've searched high and low. He was uh, supposedly called out for a, a controversial tweet that wasn't controversial at all, which is why all the people who attacked him for it win the award for said tweet this week. When Scotty left the WWE Performance Center, he left NXT, he started taking uh, bookings again independently. And this week, he tweeted a message to promoters looking to book him to do intergender wrestling matches. I guess he's been getting some offers for this. He said he's not going to do them because he has a 20-year-old daughter and, quote-unquote, hurting women is not something that appeals to him. He said, Dear promoters, I do not fight, and he put that in quotes, I do not fight women. I'm 49. I have a 20-year-old daughter. Hurting women is not appealing to me. I understand that there are men that do it. These, and again, when he says hurting, it's important to point out he's putting that in quotation marks. He understands that you know, they're not really hurting the women. But he said, hurting women is not appealing to me. I understand that there are men that do it these days. It's just not my thing. If that makes me old or out of touch, I'll take it. Please stop trying to book it. Also, before my matches from 20 plus years ago with Linda Miles in China or any other women are brought up, I know what I did. It was a different time, a different place, and I was not a father to a 20-year-old daughter. Nothing wrong with what he said there. He doesn't want to wrestle women. There's absolutely nothing controversial about that. 
But some people, if they had nothing to be offended about, they wouldn't know what to do with themselves. There are times to call people out for saying stupid shit. And then there are times to just let the man have his opinion on his own Twitter account. A couple of people called him out for even saying anything at all. Why bring it up? Why bring it up? Because he was getting offers to do it and he wanted to let promoters know that he wasn't interested. And by the way, it's his own fucking Twitter account. That's why. He wasn't being dismissive of it. He just said that it's not something that he feels comfortable with. Session Moth Martina, she tweeted that Scotty was asked to wrestle her earlier this year. And she said that he could not have been more polite when explaining his reasons not to, uh, to do it. She said that she completely accepted and understood. And so they ended up teaming up as partners against two guys. And she said the match was great and the whole experience was great. And she told people to just leave him alone. Well said. It's amazing what qualifies as controversial these days. Last night, I said that I didn't like the Jade Cargill-Nyla Rose match and that I thought the Soraya-Britt Baker match was was very flat. I had one person ask me, why why do I have an agenda? Why do you have an agenda against women's wrestling? They asked me that question. On the same show that I talked about Tony Storm and Jamie Hayter going out there and having one of the best matches of the night, they asked me that question. People hear what they want to hear. The wax suddenly forms in their ears when you say something that doesn't fit their narrative. So, Scotty Too Hotty, you keep doing your thing. To the people who came at him and tried to make something out of nothing, crack a window open and get some air. 